A lot of human misery and suffering comes from trying to control things that we just simply can't control. We try to control other people, we try to control this university, that institution. We try to control the circumstances that we're like experiencing right now. We try to control the events that happen to us in our lives. But I've come to realize that there's only one thing that you can absolutely control and control it in every single moment of the day and that is your mind if you watch some of my videos you'll be able to quote me saying that ah, you can control your circumstances you can control your future you can control the life that you're living in the future and i think a better way of saying that would be you can alter it because you can't control it 100 percent the only thing that you can control is your input you can't control the output I was watching this podcast the other day by Luke Belmar and he said that when people go to the gym and they train a certain way, they eat a certain amount of calories, they sleep a certain amount of hours, they know for a fact that they're altering the they know for a fact that they're altering their body. They know for a fact that they're going to produce a result, but they can't control what their body's gonna look like. Because there are certain things that you can't control, like your genetics. See if I get 90 kgs and I'm 10% body fat, like I'm a lean machine, like fully built with muscle, my body will look different to yours at 90 kgs, 10% body fat. So the best way of talking about the future, talking about your circumstances and your environment is that you can alter them. You can't control them 100%. The only thing you can control 100% is your mind. You can choose what you think. And through choosing what you think, you can actually choose what you feel. And you may not understand this, but I'll just say if you can control how you think and control how you feel, you can control the type of life you'll have. But the only way to control the type of life you have is to control your mind. And you know, this weekend I was really thinking about this concept that the only thing I can control is my mind. Because on Sunday, I took my mom to Market Square. Market Square is essentially a place where people go to get their IDs. One thing about Zim is that our public offices are extremely disorganized. Something that should be taking 30 minutes would take you five hours. Like, honestly, it's that bad. So when I took my mom there, I knew for a fact that I wasn't going to be able to control the time we got there. I wasn't going to be able to t control the time that we left. And keep in mind, I wanted to go to rugby. We got there around 11.30. I wanted to go watch rugby at 1.30. And on the way there, I was stressing. On the way there, I was so angry. I was like, ah, oh, why did this have to happen on the day I wanted to go watch rugby? But then I realized that I couldn't control any of that. I couldn't control when my mom needed to get her ID. I couldn't control when rugby was. All I could control was my mind. So I decided that, you know what, today I'm going to exercise controlling my mind. So I dropped my mom off at the place and I had to sit waiting for her. I didn't know how long it was going to take because in Zim you'll never know how long these things are going to take. So I simply sat there, stared at a point in the wall. I didn't let my vision go anywhere. I just stared at the same point in the wall and I controlled my thoughts. I forced myself to think about ways in which I could improve myself, ways in which I could better myself. And at first I had no ideas. Like I spent the first five minutes and there were absolutely no thoughts or no ideas coming into my head. But after time, this focused thought, it yielded positive results. It yielded so many ideas that I'm actually starting to implement right now. And do you see the trend here? Because I chose to focus my thoughts on ways to improve. I yielded the results and the results were ideas and ways I could improve. If I hadn't controlled my thoughts, I wouldn't have been able to control the way that I was going to improve or the way that I'm going to improve. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I looked weird while I was doing this. Like I don't advise you to just sit absolutely still and stare at one point. The people probably thought I was going crazy, that I was going through um, a quarterly life crisis. It was just fun to actually control my mind, to consciously control my mind. And it was only for about 30 minutes and then, yeah, we left. So you need to start controlling your mind. Because one thing about life is that you're going to experience unforeseen events. Certain things are going to happen to you that you could never have prepared for. Someone will pass away. Something will happen in your country which will force certain conditions upon you. You won't be able to control these things. The only thing you'll be able to control is your mind. Your mind will govern your feelings. Your feelings will govern how you react. How you react will govern like the long-term process. But the point is, the only thing you'll be able to absolutely control is your mind. Stoicism which you all know I'm a very proud fan of, preaches the mastery of thought. It preaches the mastery of mind control. Like meditations, for example, I don't think you'd be able to read meditations for more than like three pages without Marcus Aurelius talking about the importance of controlling your thoughts. 
because it really is that important. The Stoics realized that the only thing a human can truly control is the way they think. And now in the Bible, it says that as a man thinketh, so he is. It doesn't say as a man doeth, so he is. It says as a man thinketh, so he is. And in many other places in the Bible, it tells us to control your thoughts, to think about what is good, to dwell on what is good. So in the Bible, it also says that the only thing that we can truly controls our thoughts. And as a man thinketh, so he is. So if you want to control who you become, you need to control your thoughts. If you think about things that are good, if you think about things that are productive, you will in turn become good and productive. But if you think about being a loser, you're going to become a loser. So control your mind and in turn, control your life.